Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I am reviewing, well, what sounds like might be too good to be true. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, so like I said, today I'm going to be reviewing this Monroso Tuscan blend. It is an IGT 2016 from Italy, 13.5% alcohol by volume. I paid $13 for it. All right, so in the intro, I had mentioned that this might be too good to be true. And here's why. I rarely find wines at my store that are maybe higher than a 91 when you look at Wine Spectator or Wine Enthusiast. Uh, and so that's why I really feel like my channel has values because I'm not reviewing things that are typically like 190, 99 points and saying, oh, well, it's good. Or I think it, oh, they misscored it by a point. Screw all those people. I'm trying to tell you what I think is good at the store. This said it was 93 points from Wine Spectator. So, I bought it because it was $13. And here's the deal. The entire row of these things, or both rows going back, had not been touched. The bottle that was like an 89 that was next to it, that was a name brand, sold out. I, I don't get it. It was, it was, and it was like $3 cheaper. I'm going to see if this is worth that $3. So, let's take a look. From a color standpoint, well, I mean, it's um, it's getting to garnet. Give it a little while longer, and it will be garnet. Uh, it's it's starting to have some slight browning around the lip, or oranging, if you want to say it. But it's not quite there. It's still like looking at this way. You kind of want to say it is, and then looking over here, it's still pink so it's, it's in the transition phase so give it another year or so and it'll probably start showing more of those definitive garnet signs uh no artifacts no cloudiness all right so from a nose standpoint well getting a lot of <laughs> i'm not quite sure what so i'm getting i'm getting red cherry And I'm getting like a meatiness to this wine. Like bacon. And a little liquid smoke. And maybe a touch of allspice. It's 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 a, a little bit weird to be quite honest. I'm not 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 quite what I was expecting from this. I was expecting maybe maybe a little bit more like raspberry, cherry, maybe a touch of strawberry, something like that. Uh, or red plum, and maybe some like cinnamon or something. No, I, like the first thing I noticed was like, oh, there's red cherry and bacon. Like it, it almost, it almost feels like a meal in a glass from the smell of it. Uh, so let's taste it and see if it is. Nice high acid on it. Medium plus, almost go now. It's a high acid wine, uh, which is good because high acid Italian wines go very well with food. It's like they're made that way. So I am getting a lot of that red fruit. Uh, I'm actually getting a little bit of red apple in here now too. So red cherry, red apple, that meatiness really doesn't come out as a specific flavor. It almost becomes like a umami type of effect. Like if you eat a mushroom, you kind of have this general savoriness. That's what I'm getting out of this wine. There's also a reasonable amount of salinity in here. It is slightly salty. And that spice hits. There, and it's gone. It's just, hey, I'm here, and it goes away. But overall, it's not bad, and it has, for it's, 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 I would say it's probably a medium plus on the tannins too. It, it is sucking my mouth dry uh, to some degree. So there, there is that. So anyway, Monroso Tuscan Red Blend from Italy. 13.5% alcohol by volume, $13 at my local grocery store 2016. What am I gonna rate you? I'm gonna rate you a very good. Whoever gave you a 93 was probably right. Um, they were also probably comparing you to like bottles of wine that have been aged for five, 10 plus more years. But as something you pick off the shelf, for $13, this is a damn good wine, and I do recommend you go out and try it yourself. 
The only thing I would probably recommend is um, maybe if you made the tannins a little bit softer, just because that umami effect that I'm getting, that savory and the salinity, the salinity kind of like, it, it, it messes with the actual tannic effect. Like it's confusing my salivary glands. I want to produce more saliva because of the salt. And I want to produce more saliva because of the tannins, because it's sucking my mouth dry. I And I think my salivary glands are actually a little bit tired. If like you could work out your salivary glands and have them kind of need a break for a few minutes, that's kind of what I'm feeling because I felt like I was producing so much spit. On top of that, I have acid going on. High acid, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna go, and you're gonna flood your mouth. So essentially, I drank twice the amount because of, you know, spit. But it's not bad. So like cut back maybe a little bit on like the tannins and maybe a little bit on the salinity. Well, no, because I like that salinity. Just cut back on the tannins and you know what? You'd probably be a great wine. Um, if I could also just have a tiny bit more finish, a little bit more aging, just things like that, little nitpicky things. But overall, you spend $13 or even up to $15 on this bottle of wine, you've done well that night. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried the Monroso Tuscan Red Blend? I'd be interested to know if you had, or if you have another red blend you think it would beat the pants off this one, let me know as well. And I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.